Hi folks, this is the Silver Lord speaking. Tonight um, I've hit a new high score in passivism, an 11.7 billion. Um, it could have been more probably, obviously it's not more, but the death it just does not look good, it's, um, it's a gate end death. They're the worst kind, I think. At least if you get trapped in the corner by the diamonds, you know you've you've been had, you know. Unfortunately not with us, with a gate end, you've just made an arse, basically. But a word on the session, I mean, I was playing the session for about two, two and a half hours while I was listening to an online interview, and um, it came out of absolutely nowhere. When I started the session, I was hitting 50 million here and there, and 100 million here and there, and Probably the highest up until this point was maybe a billion, two billion, which isn't bad. But I wasn't expecting, you know, the big one to drop, and it did. It came out of absolutely nowhere, as you'll see the scores at the end. I mean, after it I had a five billion and then a billion, and then nothing. So I've cut my losses and decided to do this commentary instead. Um, I think part of it is when I play the game. I tend to be going a bit too slow. And you'll notice from this video and from the other ones I do put up, I tend to be running at a hell of a lick of speed. Um, it certainly feels that way. And I think when I begin any session, I tend to be going that much slower. So there's more gates build up. And I'm a bugger for gates, I don't like them. If I'm pushed into a kind of situation where I have to take a few of them, I can, but you know, five times out of ten, that's possible. The other one time, the other five times out of ten, I'm going to come a cropper on it and and die in a gate end. And I tend to find my game works better when I'm uh, more conservative with the gates. Um, and also, which what this particular video exhibits is something which I've never really seen quite as bad, and it, it, it's basically the, the pack following the, the ship. The pack gets really tight behind my ship there, and uh, I, I don't know, I have to take gates. So I'm kind of forced into it. I think if if I, if I sit back too much, then obviously the pack's getting bigger and bigger, and it's getting quicker behind you, and that's eventually what happens here. So I kind of get forced into, into a few moves. Not too bad, but you know. I've kind of slowed down a bit now, and that's to. When you get to this stage, movement's really important. I like to sit more in the middle to try and pull the pack whichever way. If you're in the middle, you've got control of the four corners, really. If you see someone coming out of one of the corners, you can maybe make a move slowly up or whatever to try and pack them together. You're looking to try and keep the pack together. And you're looking to move slowly around the sides to give yourself that kind of leverage, if you like, that area of space to go around or to manoeuvre into a different space on the board. Could have went down there, didn't. Maybe could have done. Got lucky with the gates there. Slowly inching around the board, coming up when I need to. Luckily, if you've got spawns coming out the same corners, you can keep them together. If you, you, you nudge down, you can bring them all together. You've got to kind of have a special awareness of, or kind of awareness of where those, uh, where you think those diamonds are going to come next, and that, that only comes through playing the game over and over. You kind of get a, a feel for what's going to happen, and here the pack is really coming at me now. Horrible. Having to move quickly, having to kind of still keep manoeuvring, doing kind of S shapes there to keep the pack close and close enough that I can try and determine what's coming out of other corners. You've got to make split second decisions. Do I go around the back? Do I go, you, you know, it's just, if you do the wrong one, you're going to get trapped. Moving on the left there to bring the pack at the bottom, coming out the bottom side, across, so it all groups together again to give myself more space. Again, trying to hover and, and hold in positions so that the pack and jewels and comes together. 
and making the most of those gates. Trying to get full power, that one was good. Try and get as much as you can in there. I like the fact the gates on the right hand side are building up. I actually like the right hand side of the screen. I'm not so keen on the left hand side, strangely. I don't know why that is. I kind of, my preference is to be on the right side of the screen. I'm good coming down and up that way. Not so much on the other side. Slow down starting to kick in there and uh, ah, it's not easy but you do get used to that. You do get used to that. Um, but what you find initially when you, you come across that slow down is you're moving too quick. You think you're ahead of where you are. You know, and you, you kind of move up. I was going to take that gate and didn't. Very fortunate. It's at this stage of the game where like double multipliers and stuff can probably help. If you can if you can get the multipliers going with the gates, you get tw two times the points, three times. There's the death. Silly. Absolutely silly. <laughs> 